Donna Walker Hernandez, and I am the president and CEO of Supporting World Hope. Um, and it's a company I started after being um, in the industry for 25 years. So I have served as uh, a program person, an operations person, and a CEO. And I have certification in nonprofit management from Harvard Business School. And my whole goal is to help non small nonprofits with fundraising and board development. Because a lot of times when they think they have a fundraising problem, it's actually a board development problem. Um, but I, I, and so board development and fundraising goes hand in hand. And so that is what I do. Um, the other thing that I do is I write a weekly blog, right? And I write those blogs because I wanna help um, small nonprofits, you know? A um, couple of things that you can do with the blogs that I write is you can take them into a board meeting and use them as a board education time, incorporating board education into your agenda. I always encourage people to set aside 15 to 20 minutes um, for board education. And you can do that and keep your board meetings within an hour and a half. Um, and I'll tell you how to do that in the end and how you can access that. Um, the other reason why I do the, uh, my blogs and particularly this blog summary is because you guys are busy. I remember putting out fires, um, responding to board members, responding to staff at, 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 if need be. Your time is not your time. You are at everyone else's beck and call, your donors, your board members, your staff. Um, if you are fortunate enough to have a staff, if you're not, you really are doing it all. And so these summaries um, that I uh, record are to, for you to use at your leisure. You know, create yourself a mobile university and you can listen to your mobile university when you have time. And that time I say, you know what, I'm not trying to add any stress to your life. So I listen to these when I am driving from point A to point B. I plug in my phone, I put it on, and I listen. Um, you know, I listen to podcasts like that. I listen if I'm cooking in my kitchen. I'm listening um, if I am relaxing in the bathtub, believe it or not, in my Epsom salt bath. Um, or, you know, so you just fit it in where it can. Don't create an extra task on your list that you have to do. Um, this is about, you know, making a space where you can do this when it is convenient for you and not making it um, something extra that you have to do. So that's why I do these um, um, video blog summaries so that you can use them whenever you need to. I am here to cater to your needs and support you. Um, and so with that, let's get into this blog summary because um, it's important that we get into this. And now I, I don't see the feed, so I wanna do something really quick to ensure that this uh, is happening for us. So give me a moment to rearrange uh, my screen so that I can talk to you. And so what we're talking about this week is uh, the ultimate guide to thank your donors. So most nonprofits are not good at saying thank you um, to their donors. This is a mistake, guys. Um, thank you or stewardship is a critical part of the fundraising process. Um, the, it doesn't stop when you get the gift. Fundraising doesn't stop when you get the gift. So one of the biggest mistakes that nonprofits make is receiving a gift and then disappearing until the next fundraising appeal. Nonprofits, you know what, should not, uh, should not uh, only say thank you to their donors after receiving a gift, they should say thank you on a continual basis. Your donors deserve to be thanked. You should be intentional about thanking donors and having a plan in place to help you stay focused on stewardship all year long. So how can you thank donors at least monthly? 
um, here is what you need to include in your nonprofit thank you plan. Automatic thank yous. When someone donates online, they generally, generally receive an automatic um, email. This email primarily serves as an acknowledgement that the gift was received. Um, to make sure it's a little less transactional, um, customize the message to sound warm and personal. If your nonprofit uses a third party giving site, you should, if possible, customize the landing page. It should address the donor by name um, with two to three sentence on how their donation will help in a short video, preferably um, from a client saying thank you. Just drop in a link, you know? Um, these methods, you know, automatic uh, thank you, are, they're just not enough, you know? But um, they need to be followed up with a personal thank you call or a handwritten note within 24 hours. I believe that regardless of the size of the gift, every donor should receive a handwritten note. And I'm going to share a point with you on how you can get that done again um, by not overwhelming yourself and getting your board involved in that process. So thank you call and mail. It's a good practice to thank a donor within 24 hours of receiving a gift. I know this can be challenging, but you must carve out some time to thank your donors every time you receive a donation. To help you, um, um, to help you put a systems in place where you can get some help from your clients and your board members. So how do you do that? So each board meeting with, uh, with members writing and signing thank you cards. The cards should not be personalized with a name. The goal is to have a stockpile of thank you notes on your desk ready to be used. Um, when, and so when you are ready to send the card, you know, simply add the dear and whoever the name is and sign next to the board member if you like. So the card will come from you and the board member. And the same thing can be done for any cards done by your clients, especially if you're in a youth development organization, you have arts and crafts already, have the kids make some cards, um, they have them, you sign the stockpile on your desk. Um, any, any client services like that. Um, if 24 hours with this system, you know, still seems challenging, have designated board members make phone calls um, to thank the donors. Um, this will allow you at least a week to get out the handwritten thank you note. So set up a system where you have a couple of board members who are the thank you team. Um, and when a gift comes in, you email those board members, uh, one of the two of the board members with the name of the donor, their donation amount, and their telephone number, and a script of what to say. So here's a sample script that you can modify for your organization. Hi, this is Sabrina Walker Hernandez, and I'm a board member with Village in the Valley. I am calling to say thank you for your generous donation of $500. Because of you, we can continue to provide scholarships and community service projects to our neighbors. Through our Community Closet Program, we have provided those in need, um, in need, with, uh, with, in need of clothing, um, and we know more is needed and so we really appreciate your support you can leave that and have that conversation with them live or leave it as a voice message um, but the goal is to support that board member and have that script already ready so plan to keep thanking your donors all year round this is where the plan comes into into place how do you thank your donors um, year round with a goal of once a month. Again, here are some of the ways that you can do that. One, you can create a first time donor packet and, and um, there's a link there if you choose to uh, read the full blog, but you can use uh, the tips that's found in that link for monthly reoccurring donors as well. And so if it's a first time donor, so you don't have to go and, and reach out to their blog, um, click the link. Let's talk about that first time donor. So 
So with that first time donor, the packet can be just a one pager about the history of the organization, perhaps include a newsletter in there and a little token gift. Um, now that token gift should not be something that you go out and buy. People don't like, donors particularly don't like swag. They don't want, um, they don't want to think that their money went to a bottle with your, your organization logo or, or any, anything like that. And so what I usually say as a gift is a gift that reminds them of your mission. So if you service kids, have the kids draw up something. If uh, whatever your client that's going to remind them of the mission, a token gift that's, that's not, you know, a commercial gift. So you might have to put a little thought in that. And then don't ask them for money. But what has been shown is if you put a return envelope in there, then they will more than likely use that return envelope. So it's those little things like that. So the second thing that you can do is send um, postcards or email messages during the holidays, like New Year's, Valentine's Day, Easter, 4th of July, Thanksgiving, Christmas. You know, send a minimum of two gratitude messages a year by mail. The um, donors will more than likely see those. I still get a little giggle in my soul when I get an email. I mean, when I get mail and I go and check my box and it's not junk mail. And I don't consider communication from a donor junk mail. Whereas if you email me something, I may or may not read it, to be honest. And that's, and that's with all of us, if we're honest. The other thing you can do is communicate with your donors um, with an e-newsletter. Um, let them know the impact that their gifts have made on your clients by sharing accomplishments and success stories. Designate one area in the newsletter where you list your donors and thank them for their support. So it's an ongoing list of, of, of your donors. Um, and, and, and just at the very top, you say thank you um, for your contribution. Um, you can use your cell phone. We all have these cell phones, you know what, that we carry. Um, and, and I go nowhere without my cell phone, um, including the bathroom. Don't tell nobody. Um, but, yeah, we go nowhere without our cell phones. So create a thank you video and share it on, your, and share it on a thank you landing page by email, on social media, or directly via text. You know, um, have a client say, you know, thank you for everything that you do um, and then send it to send it to the donor, especially if a gift just came across your desk again, quick text, send it off, follow up with a handwritten note, have a board member call, man, you are showing gratitude and that donor will not forget you at all. It is going to set you apart. And you know what? I have other ideas like that in my ebook. Um, say thank you, 26 clever and easy ways to say thank you to the donor. And if you remember at the top, I told you how you can assess um, some of the information um, about um, different um, topics around thank you to your donor. Not only is that ebook available to you, but all these other sample documents are available to you. You just visit my website at uh, supportingworldhope.com. And I have a VIP resource library there that has all of this. It has sample documents around a board, around resource development, and around marketing. Um, so I encourage you when you need a document, don't you don't have to pay for the document. You don't have to Google it, as my friend uh, Mary Flores, Mary A. Flores would say. You don't gotta Google it. Sabrina's already done that for you. I have 25 years of documents that's housed in um, that library. And if you uh, you know, come across something and it's not there, that doesn't mean I don't have it. It just meant I didn't have time to upload it. So you can reach out to me directly. But again, you just go to supportingworldhope.com and you'll have access um, to those documentations. And with that, I am going to say good night and um, hopefully, not hope, well, I'm going to say hopefully I'll be back on next Thursday. Guys, you know life happens and sometimes you have to uh, skip a week uh, of a blog summary, but I try not to make that a norm. Um, so again, I encourage you um, to set up that mobile university. Visit the website www.supportingworldhope so you can access the blogs and you can access um, the VIP library where there's all types of sample documents in there. My goal is to support you and not have you reinvent the wheel. Um, with that, good, good day. 
fine gentlemen and 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 ladies and and be blessed